Thanks for joining me for another Schweiky webinar. I'm Alicia Lawrence from WebPageFX, a full service internet marketing agency. So how many of you have a competitor with a bigger website than yours? While I can't see hands, I'm pretty confident that the majority of you fall within this category. People often get really discouraged when they're a small business up against really big corporate websites, especially in this day and age when having a strong web presence makes all the difference. Yes, it might take years for you to get a strong enough website to outrank your competitors uh, on some of those main money-making keywords, but there are also a lot of strategies and tactics you can use to get ahead of your comp competitors right now that you might not have thought of. So I'm gonna go ahead and share some of those with you today. If you're working with a small company that is up against a bigger site, one of the first things you should do is figure out their unique selling point, if they don't already have one, that is. This goes beyond just a statement that says how your products or services are different and better than all the others on the market. You wanna find that unique perspective that gives your site a voice over and above its bigger competitors. So for example, one of our clients, Titan Alarm, is a security system company. Their main competitors are the ADTs and Comcast of the area, which are some really big companies. However, in order to get ahead of these bigger conglomerates online, we played into the fact that Titan Alarm is local and services the local area, unlike their competitors. So we gave their site that personal feeling to their customers, both on their blog and in different areas. The content that we created as well for this site is hyper-local and very specific to the area. In a short amount of time, we were able to help sign an alarm ring for over 70% of their targeted terms on the first page, and they are now closing close to 60% of all of their leads, which is huge. I also want to go down a very brief rabbit trail on creating localized content since I'm on the topic. Whether you're a security system company like Titan or a family dentist practice, if you want to rank locally, a great way to do that is to talk about your local area on your site and not just service-related copy. You can create a guide for those moving into your area since those are usually not very competitive in the search engines, and you can rank fairly high and will get your brand name in front of new people in the area who could turn into your customers because you took the time to reach out to them first and to help them get adjusted. Local guides are also a great way to get links from local newspapers or blog sites in the area. You can even create lists of best restaurants in town or best places to go in your town for music lovers. After publishing the piece, be sure to reach out to the restaurants and places you mentioned in your article, because most likely they will share on their sites or social media, giving you an even farther reach locally. So think big in terms of local content. Another way to use small companies a unique selling point is to find the services or products that the bigger competitor doesn't offer and start optimizing on those keyword terms. This will allow you to start getting traffic and leads while you work on more of those competitive areas. So in general, you should always plan the areas you are going to focus on so that you can have the most impact. And part of this is looking for low-hanging fruits or opportunities that the larger sites are not fully taken advantage of. So I've found many bigger sites don't invest in long tail keyword strategies. Long tail keywords are phrases of usually three or more words um, that usually revolve around a bigger question or topic. So for example, instead of typing into Google organic gardening pesticides, which does have a ton of traffic, but it's also very competitive to rank for, you would use the term how to get rid of Japanese beetles naturally. So it's a little bit more, or a lot more specific actually, um, more words to it, and they do get some traffic, not as much as organic gardening pesticides, but enough that would bring in a lot of customers to you without having the high competition that those main uh, keywords like organic gardening pesticides would have for that. Now, long tail keywords have become more popular as people begin using the search engines to ask those longer questions. And the questions make for great blog topics. Uh, for example, that how to get rid of Japanese beetles naturally makes a great blog post and can help you rank for those terms. Um, 
like I said, that don't get as much traffic, but if you get enough of those long tail keywords, it does build up and you can at least be confident in the fact that you can rank on the first page for those and get some traffic organically. Additionally, bigger sites many times are too big for their own good. When you work with a smaller company, oftentimes you have an advantage in that there isn't the corporate struggle of getting things approved. So you can move faster in getting content added to the site as well as testing out things to help improve conversion. The move you can update, and the more you can update the site and keep it fresh for Google, the better off you'll be. And that tends to be at a faster rate with smaller sites and smaller companies than with larger businesses. So play that to your advantage. Be creative, have fun, try some things. Um, you'd be surprised about the little tiny things that you might change on a site that make a bigger impact, such as the color of your purchase button even. You can also take advantage of news jacking or current trends uh, better in smaller companies than you can in fast companies because you do have that flexibility and faster turnaround time. So add interesting content when applicable and build copy for your site. Test out conversion points, especially if you're in a position where you have to get things approved. Your boss or point of contact at a smaller business will be more on the side of whatever it takes than we need to approve and get this through legal, which takes quite a while. Lastly, as a smaller company, you usually have more freedom to offer specials or discounts, which you can promote through AdWords or even just banner ads on blogs, local blogs even, to help you get that upper hand in the search results. So don't forget that you do have um, that ability to kind of, especially when you're a smaller company or even a startup, to make those special connections or even pull that out on the fly instead of having just uh, what bigger companies usually have and um, they don't have that flexibility to be able to create those offers right there. So in short, it really comes down to strategizing and understanding where there may be gaps in competition to get your smaller company's foot in the door. Thanks for listening and see you next time.